Here they are. Oh, oh. ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっ
So this hopeful expression is very different than now. Nah, I feel bad for all the cooks. They're so nice to take Sanji into their guidance. <sighs> Certainly father figure for Sanji. He's sitting there seeing your face time. <laughs> the horror on Sanji's face. Not very much. He doesn't want to hurt any one of his pirate member. <laughs> He's casually talking to them in their garage to probably oh that's why I forgot I forgot already. ゴルックで迎えに来たんだよ。お前は生贄だ。サンジ。私も相変わらず。この道を踏み外した時は、この俺も首を切る。サンジ。ええ。様を息子だなんて。みじんも持っちゃいけない。俺が親の落とし前。
急なことで現実を受け入れがてえだろう体現してやるよ構えろいやぶるジャンブちょサンジカジューシュートー気を使え死ぬぞお前と話すのになんで覇気がいるんだ<笑>消えろよノノノノノノそれも断るあがまろばっかりだここで餓死してやる
お前は俺の船のコックだから俺はお前の作った飯しか食わねえ腹が減ってもやりが降ってもここを動かずお前を待ってる必ず戻ってこいサンジーお前がいねえと俺は海賊王になれねえ<笑><笑>おいコックお前仲間になってくれよ俺の海賊船のコックに小さな頃には宝の地図が奇跡の場所に負けないように今では誰かの毎日いつの日か全ての俺もいつか行こうと思ってるぜグランドラインあじゃあ今行こうお前さオールブルーって知ってるかいやなんだ<笑>知らないのかよ奇跡の海の話さ This, uh, this episode is killing me I am sorry I didn't talk much because this is just so painful I I was so full in my emotion and I, I know I didn't talk much and maybe I don't talk at all. It's just so hurtful to see Sanjay doing this. This is probably one of the most heartbreaking moments for Straw Hat crew. I saw this coming the moment when Sanjay's bangle was put on him and the moment when everyone threatened him that the family of Big Mom and also Finn Smoke is going to kill the very person that he loved dearly and then after it's going to be Luffy I think because throughout these two episodes I remember he only think about like mostly he's thinking about Zeph and Luffy boy and all the memory that he have with his family his true family with Luffy with the straw hat with the bear teeth it replay in his mind and I understand from his point of view this is what he's been thinking throughout his journey from the kingdom toward big moms this is so deep and I can't even matter any word while watching this I can consider this as romance especially the moment when Luffy talked to Sanji although you are kicking me I know you're the one who get hurt and also Luffy shout to Sanji that he's not going to be the king of power without him, without him cooking for Luffy. And that is a serious thing for Luffy since he's a foodie. He eats everything but no, he will not eat anything if it's not Sanji who cook it. He's the in the land that is full of cakes. I feel both anger and I feel bad for Sanji at the same time. He was crying on his way to Big Mom in the carriage. And I don't know if his brother spot him crying at that time. It looks like they are so busy looking at Luffy like a loser. If only Zoro was here. I now understand why Zoro is not in this arc. Because if Zoro is here, the story will be totally different. He will not let Luffy being hurt by Sanji. No, no, no. We know exactly that he will never forgive Sanji for doing this to Luffy. Cracker? Nandate? Cracker ga. Yarare tatte no ga. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's gonna eat them. Oh. Or not. Oh, it's her hockey. Oh. Oh, now I'm worried about Luffy. But Luffy said he's not going anywhere. I don't see how they're going to fight. 
ここは敵地のど真ん中よ。松。パウンドが言ってた。小生を打ち取った者の末路。嵐と共に押し寄せるビッグマムの復讐の軍団に瞬く間に抹消される。敵なら来るけど。三時君は。三時は来る。俺は
Paige. Her kids? みんないい子にしてるかいママママうんなんだやなな料理長が包丁貸してくれないのよぬいぐるみを切りたいのにそりゃ困ったねダルチェドラジェ借りてきてやんないやだよママあなのに包丁渡すと俺たちの風船も
I really have nothing to say about this episode. There are so many devastating moments. This is so tragic. The moment when Sanji's car passed the army of soldiers from Big Mom, you know that Luffy will not go anywhere and it could mean death for Luffy. At the same time, he doesn't want to harm Luffy any, any further. But come on, if he's letting Luffy being beaten by these armies, what will happen next? We feel so helpless. Even Nami, I think we rarely see Nami with this kind of expression. She looked pain, she looked like she feel bad for Luffy. And it's rare, we, we rarely see that. Nami looking like she could cry anytime. 